The largest Bitcoin well in existence just transferred over 13,000 Bitcoin. That's more than $200 million worth of Bitcoin. Where did it transfer that? What happened? Did it sell them? I am going to show you that here. I do have the on-chain evidence. This is stuff you need to know. Was this actually grayscale liquidating portions of their Bitcoin? I am going to show you that today in this video. I am going to give you an update on my bots, my trading strategy right now. I'm going to show you this. This is very important and much more. So guys, this is an important video. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Chris, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you are new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now. And let's begin here first on the daily time frame before we talk about the massive Bitcoin well. So right now we can see that we did have a bounce from my orange box right here. We have a little bit of a red candle here going sideways. For traditional markets, you can see something very interesting here. So we went down, we went down below this particular uh, orange line, whoops, uh, below this particular orange line. And you can see that we tried to break through it to the upside here, uh, had a little bit of a resistance, but then finally broke above it and we are above this level. Now, the question is, of course, is this going to be something sustained or is it going to be something like this, where we went down, broke above it, but then had a pump just for us to roll over and start to go down. So maybe something like this go up to 39,444 uh, or sorry, uh, 3,940. Uh, before going down to 3720. So I'm not ruling out something like this actually happening, but we will have to wait and see. For now, trading this very specific support and resistance levels has been a very profitable strategy, which brings me to the performance of my bots. As you know, we did set up a couple of new bots uh, one month ago, two on OKX, one on BitCat. The performance so far is 7% on this first one, 2% on the second one. So on BitGet, the profit is 16.6%. Uh, so the trading bots are still very profitable. As you know, prior to these, we did have a couple of other bots. These have been running only for one month. So prior to these, we had a couple of other bots which uh, had even more profits, up to 20% actually on some of them. So, so far, trading this range, because I do believe that even though we can have small pumps to the up and down, uh, we are still trading in this uh, general range, which is perfect environments for the bots to make that profit. It's all about trying to nail the bottoms and the tops of these ranges. And the bottom, as you know, I have set at 15,700, which has been the absolute bottom on this trading range for Bitcoin because it's the bottom of my orange box. So yes, I did set 15,700. This is why this bot is so profitable. So, so far so good bot are doing their job. Same thing here on BitGet, 15,700. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I do have the tutorial for my bots right here, how to set them up. Also, uh, we do have the bonuses right here if you want to sign up for the exchanges and actually use the bots. OKX, $10,000. Bybit, you do have $30,000. BitCat up to 8,400, so make sure to take advantage of that. Let's talk about the biggest known Bitcoin well in existence, having more than $2 billion in this particular wallet. Now, we know that sometimes he buys Bitcoin, sometimes he sells Bitcoin. Now, if you take a random transaction here, uh, like 1,000 Bitcoin here, a couple of thousand Bitcoin up here, if you look at the details of those transactions, they usually go to Coinbase, meaning, well, he is probably selling those Bitcoin. Now, with these particular transactions that took place just uh, 48 hours ago, he transferred about 13,000 Bitcoin, and this is significant amounts of money, but these were not, from what we know at least, not transferred to a known Coinbase wallet. Instead, these were transferred actually to a fresh wallet. So this wallet right here received all of the Bitcoin, almost 14,000 Bitcoin, that's $232 million, and they are, for now at least, just sitting here. The question is, of course, why did he transfer these? Is he going to sell these? Is he just, just like restructuring? Because we know that this particular whale received all of these Bitcoin from another wallet address we were tracking like six months ago we received these. So all of these Bitcoin were transferred from one prior address, which held all of these Bitcoin. For some reason, the whale transferred from that particular address, all of the Bitcoin to this particular address. And uh, now we are seeing uh, a significant amount also being transferred to a fresh wallet. So maybe it's just some restructuring or maybe he is going to transfer these to an OTC desk or to 
Coinbase or to whatever it may be. We will just have to wait and see, guys. As soon as we see this Bitcoin move, I am going to let you know. So make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now. But the question is, is this maybe Grayscale actually transferring Bitcoin? Because we know that Grayscale are definitely contemplating actually selling off portions of their Bitcoin. One, to even out the uh, premium rate or the discount. Two, because they are in financial trouble. Not Grayscale, but Digital Currency Group, which is the parent company of Grayscale. So this is something we know. But I do not think that this is actually Grayscale. Simply because if they were to uh, actually sell these, well, they haven't sold it, so maybe they're preparing for it. But if they are to sell Bitcoin, since they are a publicly listed, like on, uh, on stock markets, GBTC is listed, they probably have to disclose that prior to them actually doing it. So yes, this is just my thought. I do not think that this is grayscale, but we will find out in due time. And especially we need to keep watching this. If these Bitcoin are transferred to Coinbase, well, then these are probably going to be unloaded over a period of time because dumping $10,000 with these market conditions, if you dump it all at once, you would suffer quite significant slippage since uh, most institutions, most market makers, they, due to the FTX drama and everything, some of them got completely wiped out, some of them halted operations, some of them are uh, still operating, but at a very reduced capacity. Which brings me actually to Coinbase itself. So the Coinbase stock, as you know, this was one of the hottest uh, launches in 2021. This launched at $342. This has gone down. The Coinbase stock has gone down 90%. So people are selling off the Coinbase stock. This shows us like retail interest and even institutional interest, especially uh, considering FTX going down, institutional money being wiped out. Um, the interest in crypto right now is at a very low level. Now, this is in general the time you want to be very interested in crypto if you want to make money because over 17% of the supply of Bitcoin is held by retail. So by retail, I'm not talking about the people who came in for a quick buck. All of these people, they have already left. The people, the retail people who are still here, I do believe are holders. So if 17% of the supply is held by retail holders, that is a very good thing. This is the actual chart. So the supply held by retail who holds less than 10 Bitcoin. This is very good news in my opinion. It shows us the network effect of Bitcoin. What do you think guys? Do you think it's a good uh, thing that 17% is held by retail holders? Let me know down in the comment section. Guys, that's what I got for you. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one.